Hello, everyone, and welcome to Counselor Feature Friday. I'm your host, Brian Urban. In these features, we hope to give you some simple tips, tidbits, and tricks to make your days easier and your patients happier. In this feature, we're going to talk about merging patient invoices. Now, there's a variety of reasons that you may need to merge an invoice. Hopefully, it's not all too common of a process, but if you need to, this can be a really easy and helpful step uh, for kind of making your data right again. Now, some common scenarios would be, uh, let's say you recently uh, transitioned to Counselor, and uh, perhaps there's some old invoices that need cleanup. Um, this merging process will help there. Let's say you inadvertently entered a payment onto the wrong invoice. Um, maybe you took a payment when the patient first came in, uh, maybe a copay or something, and then later on added the services and products to a different invoice, and you want to put those together. Um, or let's say there's a credit, perhaps, that the patient has within an invoice that you want to uh, connect up with another invoice. So anytime you see basically imbalance in your invoices for a patient that you want to reconcile, uh, this process will help with that. Okay, so what we're doing right now is we're in a patient profile with an invoice that has a credit. As I mentioned, there can be a variety of reasons for that. And we have an invoice where the patient owes us money. Okay, we wanna put those together. Uh, most often you'll see these will match up. And so you'll see it'll sum at zero for the, for the amount due. Not always, um, but, but very frequently that will be the case. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna start going, going into one of the invoices. Ultimately, you can use either one. We typically recommend you use the earliest invoice. Now, it's very important to note at this point that while the invoice date, you know, in this case, an older one, uh, typically you wouldn't see as big of a time span difference as I'm showing you here, but um, the invoice date is important, but really what is most important are the uh, line item dates. These are the ones that are gonna drive the business report generators, the things you see, you know, you see the data you see in your dashboard widgets. So this merging process is going to maintain those dates for line items, for payments, right? So this is not gonna mess up any reporting that you have. It's not gonna mess up any um, uh, you know, uh, data you see in your dashboard widgets. Uh, all it's gonna do is put two invoices into one, but maintain the actual dates of service, the actual payment dates will stay there. So what we'll do once again is we're gonna start off here in this invoice. Then we're gonna click actions in the top menu bar and then select merge invoices. So here we can see that other invoice where there's $100 due. Now, of course, we just came, we we're just looking at invoice where there was a $100 credit. So what we'll do now is we will select this. Now, before I mention this, I wanna mention that, uh, before I continue, I wanna mention that you cannot undo the merge process. So uh, if you have any concerns about this, if you think, am I grabbing the right invoice or not? I would strongly encourage you to close this, to verify, you know, okay, these are the exact invoices that we want to merge before you continue. Another brief option is if you did enter a payment into the wrong invoice, you always could delete that. Um, let's say you entered a check into the wrong invoice. You could delete, you know, take all the details from that invoice, from that payment, maybe make a note, delete that, and then go into the proper invoice and make that payment. So just to kind of throw another option here, obviously we're showing here is more of a cleanup type tool, but there are, is a way to manually do it as well. Anyway, long story longer, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna say, okay, let's take this invoice that needs the $100 and let's merge it with the invoice that has the $100. So once we merge, what it does is of course it puts those together. So now what we're gonna see is there are two items on the invoice here. We have the one back from August of 21, as well as the one in November 22. So once again, it maintains this. So all the tracking remains the same behind the scenes. And now we have the payment, and you can see it, it balanced things out. So now there is zero due. If we go back to the patient profile, we'll see that same thing. We'll see one invoice with no amount due. Now, if we hover over, of course, you'll see the audit trail. Um, and you can see that, you know, things were added. If you look towards the bottom of the audit trail, you see that things were added there. That was part of the merge. Okay, so it's noted in the audit trail. So if there's ever questions later on, you can look back and see, oh yes, we did merge uh, that invoice before. Now, of course, if you have any questions about this, please give us a call, email us, live chat us. We are always happy to help. Thank you for joining for today's Counselor Feature Friday. And as always, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend.